Hello, my fellow slightly undercooked spaghetti strands. I'm Mr. Church, and uh, today we're going to be building at this pre-existing shack right here uh, near Abandoned Mineshaft 6. And uh, let me just change this real quick because it's not a tower. And uh, let's add unnecessary I uh, things to the video like this, which I could have cut out. But we're going to be building here. Now, this is a pre-existing structure. And so let's just throw some doors in it real quick. Uh, oh yeah, you can't. I forgot. You see, because originally, oh wait, no, you never could. Um, so the problem with this game is they want you to build. They want you to build in existing areas and make your own camp out of those areas. But the problem is, well, once you go to do that, uh, you can't. Because there's no physical way to get doors into doorways sometimes. And you can try, you know, all sorts of trickery to try to glitch a door in front of nothing. <clears throat> but at the end of the day, most of the time, there's too much uh, collision to even bother beginning trying to do that. So, um, I mean, we can make this little uh, blueprint here, which will be handy in other instances. Uh... And we can try and see if this will work. So we're just going to do this. Slide that carpet under there and blueprint these three items. You'll be able to put this down wherever you want within reason. Uh, and when I say reason, reason has absolutely nothing to do with anything in this game. So don't, like, get your hopes up there. So uh, well, let's find it and it's right here. We, you'll be able to put this down wherever you want. It's a great way to get walls down. Um, and of course you can't put doors on them unless they have support because they they there's Very restricted in how we can put doors down. So as you can see that's that's curving outward There's no way we're gonna get this in here But let's try it anyway just because you know we believe we have we believe and uh, Sometimes that's all you need to do is just is just believe and then um, it's, It doesn't it still doesn't work because when you we just wasted all of our time. But this blueprint can... <sighs> yeah. This is going to be a good... A good time. I can already tell. So let's uh, try to figure out a way we can make a door for this. Since the game, Bethesda Gaming Studios... Uh, they don't want us to actually... Have... Houses with doors. Because we're not allowed to put doors down that are freestanding. So let's do this. We'll put a gate, I guess, in front of it, and it looks terrible. Um, and I'm going to um, actually see how there's the stair underneath. It's kind of off-centered and dumb. I'm going to make a platform to kind of hide that. So I'm going to burn this. And, uh, yeah, this is... <laughs> it's going to look good. Don't you worry about it, okay? Don't you worry. Now... One of the things that I appreciate about this game is the concept that we can have that creativity of finding a landscape and making something out of it. But the problem is they give us stuff like this, which is a location we used to not be able to build in at all. And we were like, why can't we build in this? It would be awesome. And they say, I, d I guess I don't know. And so then they let us, but then you realize you still can't build that at it basically at all because it's... The collision properties in the game are so absolutely jack butt fucked which is bad, in case you were wondering. And I don't mean bad to say, although 3Subscriber Jeff may disagree, it's just bad in general. You're not gonna, you're not gonna have a fun time. You see, there's, there's all these, around the structure, there's all this stuff underground that causes collision issues. There's issues in the inside. Um, I'm sure when we try to place items, it's gonna pop up through the ceiling. But we don't have to worry about that right now. We're just making a door. If it's this hard to make a door, just let us put doors down. Please, Bethesda. Why? What are we going to do? What's wrong with us putting a door on the ground? It doesn't have to be floating. You just let us set it on the ground. We had a door that did that, and you patched it out because it was too powerful. It was OP. It was broken. It was ruining the game. Get out of the way. Sorry. Um, I just, the logic behind it, and when I say logic, of course, that is a joke. There's no logic. It's a complete shit show. What do we want to do today? Well, 
Um, have we pissed off the camp building community in a while? Well, we did last week. Oh, that, that, that was seven days ago. You know, let's let's think of something new. So, uh, if you ever see something in the game that you like, and it's related to camp building, and you're a player new to the game, just keep in mind that will be changed as soon as they find out we find or derive any sort of enjoyment out of it, because as much as we love this game, they really don't want us to. They really don't want us to. But, you know, let's not worry about that. I'm sure we can buy our happiness from the Atom Shop. That was on sale today. Happiness. Um, of course, it was actually called Lunch Boxes, and um, I thought it was very interesting how uh, repair kits came on sale magically right around when uh, the weapon degradation bug came back. That's not a coincidence, by the way. It's a marketing strategy by the corporate elite that's trying to siphon all your money out of your bank account by capitalizing on your childhood nar uh, nostalgia and uh, basically just emptying your wallets so that you can feel some kind of happiness that you felt when you were a child. It's fine. You know, in, in terms of, like, ethics go, I think it's pretty good. Pretty, That's pretty fine. In fact, I hope to do that myself one day. Um, when I own a company and have enough power to take control of other people and ruin their lives But let's let's not get worried about that. We're making who let's make camp here This is a good camp that we're making here. Don't think about any of that stuff um, And if you do think about it, just remember uh, You don't have to play this game uh, And in fact, that's what people tell me you know, when I have, com you know, valid complaints about the game that I love, is instead of fixing the game and making it better, just stop playing it. That's, I guess that's how you fix problems, is you run away from them, but what do I know? You know, because I, I actually don't, like, I try not to do that, and there was a few times, I'll admit, but let's face it, my relationship with Jeff, it really wasn't worth fixing for either of us, and we couldn't get much out of it. So, anyway, love the game. Uh, but, uh, maybe there's something we can do about fixing it so that it's not shit. How about that? That could be something we could work on together. I don't know. Just an idea there. It's, uh, I know it's kind of groundbreaking to think about stuff like that. And I don't want to, like, blow anyone's minds here. But, you know, one thing that I'm thinking of in particular, like, I tried fast traveling the other day. And, and guess what? I couldn't. Um, that's maybe something to look into. Um, but let's not worry about that. Now, the reason I have this very joyful... Uh, hello? By the way, um, sometimes raiders spawn in this area, and they're very nice because they help you uh, defend the area as long as you're allied to the raiders. Um, but they are useless, and they do stand and look at the wall, and they wear tires on their shoulders, which uh, kind of... I'm, I'm tired of it. You know what? I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Just forget about it. But, uh, I was building this camp, and I realized that there's actually, um, you know, a lot of potential here in this location, because it's very Fallout 4-ish. It gives me these really nice vibes of Fallout 4, and I love that. They didn't give us any of those metal prefabs that we had, or these shack prefabs, which I found very strange, because they're inventing all these loony-looking prefabs to use now that are stupid and uh, completely destroy everyone's immersion when you uh, actually put them down. Uh, but they won't give us stuff like this. And then when they do let us build in stuff like this, it doesn't work, because they don't fix the collision, and everything pops up through the roof. Let's just take his money and shoot him um, while he's down. Um, also, yeah, you may need to, like, use explosives to move bodies around if it's in the way. Um, and it might be good to actually equip, uh, fireproof while you're doing that instead of not doing that, which is why I'm getting destroyed here by my own explosives. But that's nothing new. I have been pretty used to a very, uh, spicy diet for the last few years. And, uh, so... I've had a lot of, uh, ex ex you know, anyway, uh, this location comes with a tinker's bench, which is good. You can tinker around in it, and God knows we won't be able to put any of the other benches down because the fucking collision is fucked. Now, if you're having a hard time building in a place like this, the best thing to do is just try to get carpets down on the floor. 
which will give your items something that they can sit on and snap to and it kind of will help some of that popping up through the ceiling or sinking down through the floor that you'll get in here. Um, some items are okay, but as you can see, uh, some items are not okay and they will just pop up through the ceiling like that. And it really depends on the item and it also depends on your own peace of mind and mental stability. So, this will work. The generator can go in that spot without popping up through the ceiling for no reason, so I'm going to put it there. Um, it, it kind of fits the vibe of the building. It's kind of rubbish looking, and it reminds me of being impoverished, which reminds me of being exploited by gaming companies that I supported for several years. Uh, which is a good feeling. I think it always feels good to be butt-fucked by our childhood. Um, so, one thing we can do is uh, not think about it. Remember, whenever you get sad about, you know, how the world is, the best thing to do is just don't think about it. And if anyone brings it up, make sure you jump on their fucking head and scream at them. And make sure you find that biggest bottle of Karen lipstick and l let's wipe it all over your face. And then, like, you know, maybe do your hair, and but, like, not well. Put on, like, so much makeup, it's like a brick on your face. And then go bitch at everybody for telling the truth and trying to warn you not to, you know, um, waste your money. But if you like wasting money, um, which I do, by the way, I'm still playing Fallout 76, and you have these weird things called hopes and dreams, which will never be realized, but you've always lived that way, so why make it any different for a video game? And you believe one day that Bethesda will say, you know what? How about we make the collective decision to stop ass-fucking all of the people that supported us when our game tanked several times over? And instead, let's give them things that they want. Or maybe, you know, this is groundbreaking, we could, like, fix the stuff that's been broken since launch that's ruining their experiences instead of uh, releasing garbage and charging $15 for a little tiny prefab that's ch literally shit but you know i'm not going to be you know too worried about it you know like uh if you happen to disagree that's fine everyone's entitled to their opinion my opinion is that um this is one of those silly little situations that one gets that finds themselves in called uh stockholm syndrome Sorry about that, I just had to think about my life for a minute and it didn't go well, as you can see. Uh, but as you can see, it's getting a little frustrating putting this stuff down every single time you finally get it into place. Ow! Just fucking goes above the fucking roof again. And I've been, you know, trying to keep calm, keep it, you know, simple, subtle, suicidal attempts. But this is, this is, I just can't, ah, uh, no, it'll be fine. Um, and then uh, I, th I put a gate here because, again, we can't put doors down. We also don't have that cap piece that we get in Fallout 4 that would have covered this hole um, to even make like something that looks like a door. Uh, but I put a gate here. It seems to work okay. Um, it's a lot simpler than the other stuff I did, so I probably could put a gate on the other doorway as well. But again, if they just let us set doors down, that'd be good. Over here is a pennant, which I got from doing the PTS on PC, and even though I'm in PlayStation right now, they know, even though my accounts aren't linked, that I did the PTS for Fallout Worlds, which obviously means that they know who I am, and our accounts are connected even though they're not linked, meaning that they have no excuse to charge me for two Fallout First subscriptions, or charge me for everything in the game and in the atom shop twice but they still do and we can uh i wonder why they would do that it's almost like they like don't respect us as players that can't be right oh uh, let's hang some of these things that have inexplicable coral in them because you know how there's lots of coral reefs in appalachia so we probably what we did was we went out and picked the coral reef in Appalachia and then put it in these barrels 
because that makes a lot of fucking sense. Now we're gonna sink this down into that because the scrap box is vault tech and I hate it and it looks like shit. So we're gonna bury it in this dresser and it's gonna be fine. Um, so let's take a little uh, display here and that guy is extremely obese. I'm just kidding. He's completely fit and it's that's not a he I hope maybe I don't know. Let's not worry about that. Um, let's just keep on sinking this down in. Uh, and what we're going to be doing is uh, making something that doesn't fit like this. And that's fine. Let's put that over here. And it has drawers on it. Let's not worry about the fact that it makes no sense. The, the closer you wor look at it, in the, in the, worse, the worse it gets. Um, also, I'm going to make a little like custom cabinet thing which uh i can put on this deck here so i'm gonna take four of these um l l large toolboxes and i'm gonna blueprint them in a box shape so i don't have to line them up on top and don't worry about the fact that it's right there i definitely didn't try to set it down and it didn't pop up through the ceiling i just had it there for something else and then uh take your blueprint and like once you can line it up which is that's going to be the hardest part really because uh, you want to make sure you line it all up well, because once you're down, you can't pick them all up again as one piece. And try to set that down centered on the top of that as best you can. And then we're going to sink this down. So sink it down, blah, blah, blah. What happens is you're just picking it up and putting it down on top of that depressed pressure plate, which is popping it down through. And then you just keep doing it over and over again, and the thing will sink down. Um, the bottom piece is still the shelf, so that's what you're gonna pick everything up with. We're gonna put that over here where the couch was, and then we're gonna burn it. Now, burning is fun, as you can tell by my attitude. I enjoy it immensely, and I also think that, you know, there's a lot of dumpster fires in today's conversation that have been burned as well. Uh, but it's fine. We enjoy it, we enjoy the game, we love it, and we want what's best for it. And maybe that's not the direction that it's heading in, or the d directionlessness that it has, and the fact that it's just floundering when it could be thriving, like unlike any other game. That's the most frustrating thing. This game, I love this game. I do not love the way it is being run. In case anyone was wondering... Uh, that's where that's at. And if you want to know uh, if I could please turn my Pip-Boy light on because it's dark out, this is the ash heap. This is how as bright as it gets. I'm sorry. The second I go to record, someone shuts the light off. But that's about it. You just repair that, and there you have a cabinet. Let's look at the finished build now that I've decorated the whole thing. And as you can see, it looks kind of spoopy, actually, which is perfect because you know how it's like... <laughs> Uh, you can't see anything, but it's cool looking. You squint hard enough. I just got my eyes adjusted, you know, my, my prescription upgraded so I can see better what I'm doing. And so far, it's not good news. But yeah, we what we did was we basically just covered the outside and all the wall decorations we could find. The walls around it at the bottom piled up trash. And then when there was floating objects or anything floating or anything that looked like it should have, I just threw down those brambles to help blend in the uh the location to the rubbish that we have piled here now the thing about building in places like this is it requires very little budget it's very nice you don't have to worry about building the overall shack and you still have this very immersive structure that you didn't have to worry about the only issue here as you can see i've covered the floor with carpets the only issue here of course is all the frustration of like not knowing where you're going to be able to place something and where you won't be able to place something. Um, and it's uh, very frustrating indeed. But it does have, you know, its strengths. It can't be destroyed by mobs that, that spawn inside it. It can't be, uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't take a budget so you don't have to build it. And it looks extremely immersive. It's got very cool walls like these guys like these chain link holes in the wall i don't know it's very, it's very cool it's a very cool building i just wish it was more friendly to use and i wish that there was maybe some prefabs that were like this instead of like the i don't know for example a communist bunker uh what the fuck is that and uh you know that's that's just one example by the way of the idiotic stuff in the atom shop 
that doesn't make any sense or match the immersion of the game. Anyway, uh, yeah, I just, uh, I had a f lot of fun building this, and I do say that with heavy sarcasm. Uh, my next build is going to be a lot less screechy, and I'm going to be actually be building something. So if you were disappointed that it was mostly decorating a pile of shit, well, join the club, I'm sorry. Um, but I want to thank my patrons for supporting me, even though I basically am useless, and that I'm angry. And for the rest of you, if you enjoyed, consider subscribing. I will see you in the next video. Oh.